Today we're going to go over uh, a mount escape that I like to use. Uh, it's been called the hydraulic escape, the bench press escape, but I assure you there is no bench pressing going on here. I'm going to be using an elbow lockout to make the space that I need to escape, uh, and my hips are going to be doing all of the work here. So it's more like a big hip bridge than a bench press. So you can do it to people who are bigger than you, I assure you. I, uh, we're also going to uh, show a version of this where we end up finishing the match with the heel hook right off the bat. A little less likely, but it does happen, and it's a lot of fun. So, let's check it out. Alright, so this escape is going to start with me mounted. So, go ahead. <laughs> So, I've been mounted. I'm going to use my hands on the hips. I'm going to kind of cram my elbows down onto the ground. So, I've, the goal is to try to get my forearms and my elbows kind of lined up so I can get a good pop. So, where I'm going to be putting my hands for this escape is right on the hips. I want to find kind of a flat part of the hip to put my hand on. And I kind of curl my fingers around, making a little platform for, for them to sit on. So, when she goes to put pressure on me, my, hand, my hands form a platform here I can push off of. I'm going to bring my elbows all the way to my body, and I'm going to bring my feet as close to my butt as I can get it. I'm going to make a hip bridge up. As I do, I'm going to straighten my arms. And see, so I'm not actually pressing at any point. I'm not trying to press her off of me. My hips do all the work. My elbows just lock out to hold her there. My hips bump them up, my arms catch. Once I've got them up in the air, I pull my knees into my chest, drop them on my butterfly hooks, and sit up. Now, even if you can't hold them there locked out, you only need a little bit of space to get your knees in there. Just drop them on your hooks. Now I push away with my feet, keeping my underhooks, come up into here. Now I like to come right back down start my sweeps, and then they can go, and it's a fun little trip. So with a little bit of anticipation, we can turn that space we just made into our own attack. Right? So we don't have to go back to guard, although it's probably the safer plan. Uh, if we want to have a little bit of fun, we can launch an attack on the legs right from there. So all we're going to do is make a little bit of space, and I'm going to pull my legs in, but instead of going to butterfly guard, I'm going to be going to a heel hook on the outside, kind of a single leg X position. So the first part of the escape is the exact same. I come down, I get my hands where they belong, I get my feet where they belong, and I elevate. But now, instead of being content with just pulling my knees in and going back to guard, I'm going to push her a little bit off to the side, and I'm going to attack one leg. I'll show you this kind of slow here. Pinch the knees, come down on the toes, reach back, find the heel, and fish. So, one, more, one last time, I build my platform, I hydraulic up, turn over and drop them right here, start pinching the knee, find the heel, pull it in, turn and look over my shoulder, and apply the heel. So, that's a fun escape. You can use it to get back to guard. You can use it to find heel hooks. I'm sure there's a bunch of other fun stuff in there. Try it out. Have fun.